Uh, hi, in this session we'll create, uh, we'll learn how to create generic classes. Now to demonstrate this, I'll make use of, I'll take one class, I'll name it as test. So you know to have, have a generic data type that is T here. For this, I'll have a data member, so of type T and a constructor so which accepts the T type. T as X, so A is X is initialized to okay. and one more uh, public function. Uh, I have a print value. I'm going to print the value of the variable, the class uh, variable. The console dot write line uh, a equal to comma. I'm printing the value, so just tell a. I have one more uh, public function I tell print so I'm going to print the type of the variable tell console.write line type of t is so comma comma so you have something called as type of I tell you T type of T. So while creating an object of test, so it gives uh, a less than or uh, greater than here. This means it is a generic class. So you should specify the data type here. Initially I specify as int. So I tell as T1 is equal to new. Uh, basically, I get uh, sorry, T1 is equal to new test int. So, see here if you have specified int, so, so the T type will be int. So, it is expecting int for to pass to a constructor. So, I will pass as 1001. So I, I wanted to print the value t1 dot print value so I will print the uh, type of t1 so this is for integer so if you pass as integer this t becomes an integer so what if I pass uh, I have a string String T2 is equal to is equal to new string. See it is expecting me to pass as pass string. So now T will be string. Since you have specified string here, T will be string. I tell welcome. T1 dot I'll print the value it's T2 T2 dot print type printing the type so let's execute the program and see the output see here the way a value you have initially you have uh, given it as an integer so the type of t in the first attempt in the first while creating an object so it is system dot int 32 that is the system uh, it is integer in the second case you have specified t as string so type of t is system dot string that is uh, the string type so not only uh, one type you can specify here, 
you can specify a number of types for example i specify t uh, t1 comma t2 so you can use this if you are specifying three types here then you should specify three types here also like uh, int comma int so int comma int comma int so wherein t1 t t1 and t2 becomes uh, all the three becomes integer i should specify like this so here i uh, let's take uh, int int comma string so wherein t t becomes integer t1 becomes integer and t2 becomes string t2 will be considered as string here so you can pass whatever you want here so basically i'll i'm taking it as a string so initially i need to pass as a, since t is of type i'm passing string so i'll make this as string here i'll make this as string here so uh, <coughs> here t1 t would be integer t1 would be integer and 3 t2 would be integer here t would be string t1 would be integer and t2 would be string so like this you can uh, uh, have different you can make your class generic you can have a number of data types here